OK, for this question then, I've just drawn a quick sketch of the particle of mass 2 kilograms. We're told that it receives an impulse, which I've called I, equal to minus 6i plus 8j newton seconds. And it initially was moving with a velocity of 5i plus j meters per second. And I've called that U. And our job is to find the kinetic energy of the particle after the impulse. So, how do we do a question like this? Well, kinetic energy is a half mv squared, so I've got to look at the final velocity of this particle after this impulse. So, it's going to move off, say, let's say in another direction, something like this. And I'll call this final velocity v. So we need to get this first, and we should be familiar with the impulse equation, that impulse i equals the change in momentum, that's mv minus mu. So we just need to fill in these values. I'm going to write in column vector form, it's up to you at what you do. But for i then we've got minus 6 and 8, and that is equal to the mass, which we know is 2 kilograms, multiplied by v. I don't know what v is, obviously, so I can't write that as a column vector. Minus mu, so that's going to be 2 multiplied by u, 5, 1. OK? Now, what we could do now is this expands to minus 10, minus 2, and I could add that to the other side. And so we've got 2v equals minus 6, 8, plus 10, 2. And if we do that, let's just come down here. If we do that, what we've got is therefore 2v equals minus 6 plus 10, which is 4, and 8 plus the 2 is 10. We could divide now through by 2, and that gives us the velocity v as the vector 2, 5. Now we know kinetic energy is a half mv squared, so we need the magnitude of this velocity. And the magnitude of the velocity, we'll just put it in a mod sign, by Pythagoras' theorem then will be the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared. So 4 plus 25, that's 29, root 29. Okay, that's meters per second. So when it comes down to the kinetic energy, we can say that therefore the kinetic energy equals a half mv squared. And we just fill in our values. We've got a half multiplied by the mass of 2 multiplied by root 29 all squared. So clearly the 2's cancel, leaving us with root 29 squared, which is 29. And that'll be measured in joules, 29 joules then for that kinetic energy of the particle after this impulse. All right?